desperation with DC Comics anymore. It's just, it's just sad and stupid and pathetic, the things that they're doing. Their dark crisis has started off to be a, a, a horrible affair. Two issues in and it's just total garbage. Their tie-ins to dark crisis are just as bad. DC Comics doesn't even have a boot at Comic-Con. But that hasn't stopped them from having a panel and revealing some absolute lunacy and stupidity. Maybe they can literally see the desperation in what they're doing. Now, here's this article from Bleeding Cool, but, you know, I, 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 I've stated my opinion on Bleeding Cool more than once, but this is what I want you all to, 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 to check this out, and this is what, I, what is I'm, I'm telling you here with this. Uh, SDCC or San Diego Comic Con reveals Dark Crisis is actually Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, so the Dark Crisis thing ain't selling at all. So let's now go and actually try to, to pin it on to Infinite Earths. You know, Crisis on Infinite Earths, which, happened, which was really popular among so many comic book readers. When it first came out, people were really interested in it. it it's, it's gone into like um, movies and you know, um, I think um, CW did something similar with it and stuff, but Okay, let's look at this and see. Today's DC Dark Crisis panel at San Diego Comic Con will first to get the news of the full true name of the 2022 event, Dark Crisis, as Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. So you really expect people to believe that you call it Dark Crisis, but it actually, but its actual true name is Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. The series from writer Joshua Williamson and artist Daniel Sabri was revealed to be a direct sequel to the original 1985 Crisis on Infinite Earths by George Perez and Marv Wolf Wolfman. DC will be reprinting the first three issues of Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths to feature the newly announced name on the cover. Now, here's the problem with this. Here's the problem with this. When they were announcing Dark Crisis, they said it was not going to be a direct sequel to, to Infinite Earths. They said it was supposed to be some kind of love letter, love, love letter to the fans and, and to show how all of these people have grown and, and, how, and, and, and show how they developed throughout the years. The other. It became very clear very early on that DC had no idea what they were actually doing when it came to this. None. And as it went along, it, it only got worse. They kept spoiling things and just... It just Came an absolute nonsense affair. Joshua Williamson stated, "There's a major moment that happens in Dark Crisis Number Four, where the Infinite Earths return, and so with that change, the actual title of the book is going to be changing. So this is something we've been keeping secret from the very beginning of this book. It's actually called Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. Crisis on Infinite Earths is one of my favorite stories of all time." Being able to do a sequel to that story, to carry forward that story with Pariah and the Infinite Earths has just been really awesome. Once it gets past number four, it gets super nuts every single issue. The ending of the series is so massive. It'll have, it'll have a major impact on DC moving forward. Oh, wow, another major impact on DC moving forward. You've already told everyone that, you know, in Justice League number 75, when you kill the Justice League, well, supposedly kill them. That, that, that they are going to come back at the end of that crisis. You've also pushed the fact that you want to have the Justice League where be the ones to really step up and save the day, even though nobody likes them. Nobody needs them. They are not trained. They're not. They're not. They're not. Um, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not even really superheroes, to be honest with you. They're just, they're just like some some things that that, that, that that you all just created to push a message. That's it. <sighs> Readers can order second prints of yeah, I am not really going through that way. We've kept the real name a secret from the start because we didn't want to give away what was happening in the middle of the story. Okay, genius, you're two issues in and you've already given it away. So what it is exactly you were trying not to give away? You, you, you can literally tell why they're doing this, you know. You can literally tell why they're doing this. With the return of the Infinite Earths, okay, so this is how many covers that they're going to do. Eh? How many covers they're going to do? We have this one 
here. Well, this and this. I mean, it's just. It means so much to me to be able to be involved in creating a sequel to Crisis on, on Infinite Earths, even though you said it wasn't going to be that. It really is an honor and a dream come, come true for any comic book fan. Well, with the way you've been doing it, I know people think, think it's a dream. Over the next few issues, fans can expect big action explosion with lots of epic, huge battles and a lot of emotion and surprises. Williamson added, the first few issues of Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths have been a mix of action and character moments and we're turning it up to 11. What you've put out so far in the Crisis on Dark Crisis, I'm not going to call it Dark Crisis, but we put out so far in Dark Crisis, is John Kent running around, unable to form a superhero team. You, you, you tease this whole big battle that was supposed to happen in um, the second Dark Crisis where Slade was, was, was supposed to attack Titans Tower and wipe out the Titans and it was going to be epic and people were going to, going to fall along there and it was going to be all sort of drama and all kind of this only to give people nothing. A little slap and tickle here and that was it. And now you're talking about how you're going to turn it up to 11. If what you've given so far is a 10, people are looking forward to 11 at all. It's going to be a roller coaster with some intense moments for DC fans. So many of those are still left, including team ups that you won't see coming and a fight scene that is probably one of the most emotional moments I've ever written for DC. Yes, that's what people want in a fight. They don't want an actual battle where you are on your where, where, where you are on edge of your seat thinking to yourself, my God, this is so amazing. It's just so blown out. I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing a fight. I couldn't believe. No. What they want is an emotional moment in their fight. Where two where two people hit cough cry, hit cough cry, hit cough cry, lie down, ball, get back up, hit cough cry. That's what that's what that's exactly what people want. And you wonder why the Ripperverse is ripping you apart. Ah, all one thousand fans in attendance at today's Dark Crisis panel, well you sure it was one thousand, received a conventional exclusive enamel pin of Dark Side. No one has listed them on eBay yet, but give them time. Here, here's a solicitation for Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 5 for October 2022. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 5. War at the Hall of Justice. After the shocking event of the last issue, Prior has won, and now his Dark Army is poised for the invasion of our world. It's up to the Titans to rally the remaining heroes to defeat Deathstroke's ever-growing forces and avert total destruction. An epic war starts on the steps of the Hall of Justice, and only if and only a miracle could help the heroes now. But all hope is not lost, as the worlds without a Justice League have begun to loosen their grip. But can the heroes return to Earth if it means one member of the Justice League could be lost forever? Ooh, we really, we really try to shock people with this thing. Big battle at the Hall of Justice is probably going to turn to be nonsense. One hero could be lost forever. Who's ever lost forever in DC Comics? We, we know what's going to happen. Come on, we know what's going to happen. Some of the art here and stuff. You know, I mean, let me just tell you this. Let me just me see this. You trying to set up this whole dark crisis on Infinite Earths thing. You showing everybody exactly what this is. You can see that. This has nothing to do with infinite earths. You started off this dark crisis saying that you wanted to tell this story without, without, without telling this, and, and, and without, without pushing into that, and without doing this, and without doing that. And now you turn around and say, well, okay, we want to, we, we've always wanted to call it um, dark crisis on infinite earths and make it a direct sequel to the infinite earths, even though you stated you didn't want to do that. You cannot tell a unique story to save your lives. All that we constantly get anymore with DC is a bunch of woke nonsense and a whole bunch of, um, you know, infinite earths, um, big events kind of thing. We had um, 
dark night death metal which people were kind of interested in but would after a while never read it not not interested stop reading dc comics long before that but you keep seeing it and these are not these are not this is not the only thing you're getting yeah? because it's also something where they're going when they're going to have superman and swamp thing i think fused together to because i mean like who what Superman and Swamp Thing fusing together to become some sort of, some sort of Superman Swamp Thing hybrid to fight the Dark Army. All kind of thing. I mean, come on, now, man! You all, you all are not even trying anymore with this. You just become so lazy that you don't, you don't, don't even care what you put out anymore. You just expect people to just, to just lap it up. The sales for Dark Crisis have been terrible. People are not buying the books. Some of some of some of uh, some of the information that I have gotten is that a lot of these, of these comic stores have had to drop their orders because they ordered a, 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 a substantial large amount of it, hoping people would buy it, and they're not getting the sales. So now DC is decided to come out at Comic Con, where, where once again they have no boot to come out now to say, well, okay, it was always going to be crisis. On infinite boots haha ha. we, we knew all along this is a big surprise and yeah two issues in you already spoil it and, and, and you just you just you just well, well you, you spoil it long before this this evening this doesn't make any sense anymore it's showing how desperate you are and it's showing how downright pathetic you are that's it let me know in the comments what you think if you have a different opinion i'd love to hear it if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Infinite. Here we go again. Take care.